Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Davis here, ready to show you guys another video. Thank you so much for all of my returning subscribers. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Hashtag Davis Nation. So glad all of you can join me again for another video. Let's jump right into day two of my journeys at the American Strength Teachers Association Conference in Orlando, Florida. Here we go. After getting ready, getting my badge all set together, I headed on down to my first session, which was called Feedback and Assessment Through an Equity Lens. Um, in this session, it talked about feedback, assessment, and grading within the string orchestra classroom. And the presenter was Kelsey Nossbaum from the University of Arizona. I learned a lot. Um, always got to stay sharp on your grading, so thought I'd go in and check it out. It was pretty cool. After this, of course, I was getting a little, you know, like I need my little pick me up. So I scoped out this little tea station, um, but it really didn't belong to anyone from the American String Teachers Conference. It was for this business conference that was going on, but I went over there anyways and hooked myself up with a nice cup of tea, um, you know, on the low. Feeling so much better now that I've had my cup of tea. I had to go ahead and take a quick picture in front of the Asta backdrop and then I headed to my next session called Inspiring and Motivating the Next Generation of Music Students. Um, it talked about retaining and growing your music programs and it was uh, sponsored by the Music Showcase, Electrify Your Symphony. Presenters were Mark Wood, that's Mark Wood right there, and Deb Wyant, didn't get a picture of her, but she's in there as well. And that was really cool. And afterwards, I had a chance to hear my first uh, National Orchestra Festival uh, group, and I listened to a fabulous group play. Here they are coming on, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about more about them in a second. Okay, this group is from Herrick's High School uh, Chamber Orchestra. They're from New Hyde Park, New York. Their director is Katherine Burke. You can see she's standing right over the side. She had this really cute jacket on too. I think it built everything. But I started tears a little bit for the guy. But then they made an announcement to stop filming. So I just decided to record my reaction. Then the bass player came back in on this part, and they were really in. I was so excited. Oh my goodness. I did another one too, so I'm going to show you that one too. Here we go. They are performing that uh, Daggiato from Duke of Mahler, Symphony Number Five, and Stellar. After having my mind completely blown by this group, uh, just walk back through the one of the lobbies, and you can see a bunch of teachers and other strings folks just milling around. Impromptu performances just going on. It was time to head and go get some lunch with Miss Johnson. So we just walked down International um, Avenue, I think it was called, and uh, followed this other group uh, to this plaza where we had lunch at a very nice restaurant. Uh, there it is right there. And food was really, really good. I had some, uh, what I had? Oh, oh, that's right, the, the chicken sandwich. It had a cute aesthetic. Miss Johnson had the um, fish tacos. It was really good, man. We cleaned our plate. Man, this food was good. And it was just a beautiful day. Uh, yummy, yummy, and my tummy. After lunch, we went back to the conference hotel and went to something called a reading session. And uh, Laura Mulligan Thomas from Charlottesville City Public Schools Retired was directing this 
great orchestra of teachers here playing music. And when you're in a reading session, you play all brand new music that you've never seen before, and you can try out the instruments. They have some in the back, and your teachers just sight reading music together. Ms. Johnson and I then got the bright idea that on the next session, we were going to try to read some music on our own. So we went ahead. We didn't bring our violins with us, but they, have, like I said, they have uh, instruments in the back. So I had to figure out how to open up this massive case and it had four different instruments inside of it. So here I am taking out the uh, instruments and the bows. And after I figured out how to open the case, <laughs> one fell, then we went ahead and sat down and played in the eclectic and alternative reading sessions. Pretty cool case. Can you imagine carrying four violins? Here's the instrument that I was playing. That bow was, I think it was like either $650 or $350. And we were basically just sight reading. That's what you do at a reading session. And we're playing all this music. And a lot of times they have the composers there at the conference. And we met a lot of the composers of the music we were playing. So we're just tuning, getting ourselves together, looking over the pieces. Here I am watching the conductor. There's this huge long fermata waiting for the beat to drop so I can play my own notes. <laughs> Fun. After the reading session, we went back through the exhibit hall had to get ourselves some more food. They had a, then another great spread. Um, so we just checked out the instruments, saw some more cool music and people. Then we ate. <laughs> These little um, lobster rolls they had were quite delicious. Nice little treat. And it just happened to be St. Patrick's Day. So they had some St. Patrick's Day um, decorations. Had a little uh, peach crumb cake, some other little dessert. There was a raffle. I did not win, unfortunately, but you know, I was still excited to be a part of something great. Then it was time for the uh, end of the night concert. And that concert featured uh, Daryl Anger and Mr. Sun. And Mr. Sun is an acoustic string band in Northern American tradition. And they encompass blues, bluesgrass, multi-continental uh, fiddle styles in every era of jazz. I did not really enjoy this final evening concert, um, so I actually had to leave Miss Johnson and go back to the room and get some rest. But I still highly respect the music, so I wanted to make sure that I included in case anyone wanted to um, look up Daryl Unger and his fiddle style. Well, guys, that's all she wrote for me. Time to shut this bad boy down once again. I'll see y'all on the next video and the very final day of my conference. Remember, if you want to stay in touch, make sure you follow the Hanover High School Orchestra on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Bye-bye.